Hello students, let us continue with the problems uh, from statistics which were given in previous board examinations. Right? See here the problem is the following table represent pocket allowance of children of a colony. The mean pocket allowance is 18 rupees. What do you mean by mean pocket allowance? So, mean pocket allowance is nothing but that is median of the given distribution, sorry, mean of the given distribution. So, what is the missing frequency? Here k is the missing frequency. What am I supposed to do here? Um, I would find arithmetic mean of this data by using our step deviation method. Okay? Step deviation method. What is that step deviation method again? x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i into u i divided by sigma f i into h. Okay? We already discussed about that so that I am not going to explain more about this. So, let us try to get into the problem. What is uh, the information given? I am writing them vertically. Daily pocket allowances, I will write it as a first column. That is what class intervals. So, the class intervals are going to be 11 to 13 and then 13 to 15 and then 15 to 17 and then 17 to 19 and then 19 to 21 and then 21 to 23. So, finally, 23 to 25. So, these are mean pocket allowances means class intervals and number of children means the corresponding frequencies. What are the corresponding frequencies? 3, 6, 9, 13, K, 5, 4, K, 5 and 4 these are mean pocket allowances and after that what am I supposed to do here? This is what 5 right? So, 5, 4. If I find what is sigma f i, sigma f i which is equal to, I will have to add all of them. So, when I add all of them, 3 plus 6 equal to 9, 9 plus 9 is equal to 9 twos are 18, 18 plus 10 is equal to 28, 28 plus 3 is equal to 31, 31 plus 5 is equal to, 31 plus 9 is equal to 40 plus k. So, this is 40 plus k is what? Is sigma f i. I repeat and I will check myself once again. 3 plus 6 equal to 9, 9 plus 9, 9 twos are 18, 18 plus um, 10 is equal to 28, 28 plus uh, 3 is equal to 31, 31 plus 9 is equal to 40 plus k is 40 plus k. After f i, what am I supposed to find? I am supposed to find the values of class mark otherwise mid values of the class interval. We already discussed about that. Lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Between 11 and 13, what is the number? There is only one number that is 12. Okay? So, here it is 12. And what is the class size? Size of the class interval? 13 minus 11 is equal to 2. So, the class size is going to be h is equal to 2. I am writing directly. So, why am I writing 2 here? I am directly adding 2 to every single number. Directly I will get it. So, 12 plus 2 is equal to 14, plus 2 equal to 16, plus 2 equal to 18, plus 2 equal to 20, plus 2 equal to 22, plus 2 equal to 24. Right? After xi, I am going to choose one mid value among all the mid values and name it as capital A that is assumed mean. So, what am I supposed to do here? I will do one, one thing here. In order to, uh, okay, fine, let us let us take this 18 is equal to capital A and ui, the value of ui corresponding to capital A is 0 and the above values are negatives and below are positives as we already discussed. So, it would be minus 1 and it is minus 2, minus 3 and it is 1 and it is 2 and it is 3. After finding ui, I will have to find fi into ui f i into u i. Let us multiply 3 into minus 3 is equal to minus 9, 6 into minus 2 is minus 12 and 9 into minus 1 is again minus 9, 13 zeros are 0, k into 1 is equal to k and then 5 into 2 is equal to 10 and then 4 threes are 12. Fine. So, I will go with negatives as well as positives. First negative numbers, 9 twos are 18. 18 plus 12 is equal to how much? 30. So, it is minus 30. 
coming to positive numbers here positive numbers are 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 so this is k plus 22 so finally what is sigma f i into u i of course k is there i will write k first and then minus 30 plus 22 is equal to minus 8 so the value of sigma f i u i is equal to k minus 8 correct now i am going to substitute them there the value of h is equal to 2 therefore x bar is equal to x bar is equal to a plus a is equal to how much 18 18 plus sigma f i u i sigma f i u i is equal to k minus 8 so k minus 8 divided by sigma f i i got it as 40 plus k so it is 40 plus k into h h is going to be 2 but the value of x bar it was given arithmetic mean is equal to 18 so which is also is equal to 18 so let me once check whether uh, my calculation is right or wrong so 3 into minus 3 is equal to minus 9 6 2s are minus 12 and 9 into minus 1 equal to minus 9 13 zeros are 0 k into 1 is equal to k 5 2s are 10 4 3s are 12 absolutely fine and coming here that uh, the summation of all these 9 2s are 18 18 plus 2 20 plus 10 is equal to 13 10 plus 22 is 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 correct so k plus 22 minus 30 so k minus 8 that is absolutely correct so now when i observe 18 is equal to 18 plus something so first to transpose 18 towards left hand side then it would be 18 minus 18 is equal to k minus 8 into 2 divided by 40 plus k what is the value of 18 minus 18 which is equal to 0 so that 0 is equal to k minus 8 into 2 divided by 40 minus k but by cross multiplication finally you will have 0 is equal to k minus 8 so 0 equal to k minus 8 means the value of k is equal to 8 this way you can easily find what is the missing frequency of the given frequency distribution in order to find arithmetic mean right let us move on to the next problem so the next problem here is if the mean of the frequency distribution is 65.6 find the missing frequency what is that find the missing frequency of this distribution how many missing frequencies are there f1 and f2 so find the missing frequencies that was what the problem so first of all i will write the information vertically first what are class intervals so the class intervals are 10 to 30 that is the first class interval and second class interval is 30 to 50 and then 50 to 70 and then 70 to 90 and then 90 to 110 and then 110 to 130 and extra information is given that is what total fine and what are the corresponding frequencies i will write f i's first it is 5 and then 8 and then f1 and then 20 next f2 and then what is that 2 coming to the total is equal to 50 so total is 50 so the very first thing that i need to find here is sum of all the frequencies sum of all the frequencies and then i will have to find the mid values of the class intervals that is xi in order to find mid value of the class intervals 10 30 10 plus 30 equal to 40 by 2 is equal to 20 so 20 is the first mid value and what is the next mid value 30 and 50 is equal to 40 of course 20 is the class size so that you keep adding 20 40 plus 20 equal to 60 plus 20 equal to 80 plus 20 equal to 100 plus 20 equal to 120 so this way you can find x size and now what is the first thing that you need to choose one of them as capital a so which one is capital a here i am going to choose um, the mid value which is the capital a you can choose anything for example i am taking this one as capital a that is assumed mid value or assumed mean okay after finding the value of capital a you will have to find ui we already discussed finding ui easily the value of ui corresponding to capital a is zero and above are negatives 
and below are positives okay and finally f i into u i f i into u i now be very careful 5 into minus 2 equal to minus 10 and then 8 into minus 1 equal to minus 8 f 1 into 0 is equal to 0 20 into 1 is equal to 20 and then f 2 into 2 is equal to 2 f 2 finally 2 into 3 is equal to 6 so these are f i into u i after finding f i into u i you will have to find sigma f i into u i so sigma f i into u i here anyway there is no f 1 we have only f 2 so let us uh, add all of them 10 8 so it is going to be minus 18 and 20 plus 6 equal to 26 so here it is 20 plus 6 equal to 26 so i am when i am adding all this then i get 26 plus 2f2 minus 18 so that the value would become 26 plus 2f2 minus 18 is equal to how much so 26 minus 18 is equal to 16 minus 8 equal to 8 only no so that it would be 2f2 plus 8 okay so 2f2 plus 8 is the value of sigma f i into u i that is 8 plus 2f2 okay there is no more confusions correct so here when you add both of them you get a minus 18 when you add both of them you get 20 plus 6 equal to 26 plus 2f2 minus 18 26 minus 18 is equal to 8 and then plus 2f2 is 2f2 after that we have to remember one more thing that sum of all the frequencies is equal to f50 means when you add all of them you will get 50 right so see here 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 13 plus uh, 2 is equal to 15 15 plus 20 is equal to 35 okay so 35 plus f1 plus f2 i am writing here 35 plus f1 plus f2 is equal to how much total frequency equal to 50 so then what is f1 plus f2 f1 plus f2 is equal to 50 minus 35 is equal to 15 so this is the value of f1 plus f2 which is equal to 15 let it be first information okay now let us try to understand the arithmetic mean here so in order to find the arithmetic mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i u i divided by sigma f i into h substitute the values x bar the arithmetic mean of the distribution is given 65.6 so 65.6 is equal to a a is going to be 60 60 plus sigma f i u i sigma f i u i 8 plus 2 f 2 so 8 plus 2 f 2 divided by sigma f i sigma f i is going to be 50 multiplied by h h is going to be the class size 30 minus 10 is equal to 20 so now we can simplify it easily 0 0 gets cancelled and then when you transpose this 60 this side 65.6 minus 60 65.6 minus 60 is going to be 5.6 which is equal to 8 plus 2 f 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 5 so when you transpose 5 also this side then it would be 5 6 are 30 0 3 and 5 5 are 25 plus 3 equal to 28 so it is 28.0 and transposing 2 also this side so divided by 2 is equal to 8 plus 2 f 2 so 28.0 divided by 2 means 2 14s are 28 and transposing 8 this side minus 8 is equal to 2 f 2 so 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 is equal to 2 f 2 therefore the value of f 2 is going to be 6 um, uh, to how much sir 6 uh, 2 3s are 6 therefore the value of f 2 is equal to 3 then how to find the value of f 1 we have an information here so we can use this information that is first equation implies f1 plus f2 is equal to 15 f2 is, e is equal to 3 so that 
f1 plus 3 is equal to 15 so that f1 equal to 15 minus 3 equal to 12 therefore the value of f1 equal to 12 and f2 is equal to 3 this is the way that we can find the values of the missing frequencies f1 and f2 by using the given information hope you understand how to answer this right so moving on to the next problem so coming to the next problem here find mode of the frequency distribution and uh, of course median is mean is also given with the help of these two we have to find the value of median by using empirical relationship so the very first thing that we need to calculate mode of the frequency distribution in order to find mode of the frequency distribution what is the formula for mode so mode is equal to mode is indicated by z is equal to l1 plus f 1 minus f 0 divided by 2 f 1 minus f 0 minus f 2 times h this is what is the formula for mode of the frequency distribution where mode is equal to l1 plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h. We already discussed about that f1, f0 as well as uh, f2. For that first I would write what is the frequency distribution here. The frequency distribution where the class intervals are 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and then 80 to 100. These are class intervals and the corresponding frequencies are given as 15, 18, 21, 29 and then 17. What are all required here? And the very first thing why we need to understand, identify is what is the model class what do you mean by model class the class with the highest frequency is said to be the model class so you need to identify where that highest frequency is located out of all the frequencies so 29 would be the highest frequency so that this highest frequency is considered as highest frequency is considered as f1 f1 is the highest frequency and uh, the class interval with the highest frequency is said to be the model class. So, this is what is the model class. Okay, I would write here what is the model class. So, model class is the class with the highest frequency that is 60 to 80 is the model class 60 to 80. And after identifying the model class, we know what is the highest frequency and the value are the frequency preceding to the highest frequency indicated by f0 and the frequency next to the highest frequency indicated by f2. Now you will have a doubt. Sir, here 29 is the highest frequency so that 29 is appearing somewhere in the middle otherwise definitely one frequency should be there down to it and one frequency should be there above to it. For example, if my highest frequency is located exactly in the first frequency, then I can identify what is F1. Then what is F0? So F0 should be preceding to that, but there is no frequency preceding to that. Then in that case, you can consider 0 as F0. And for example, if this is the highest frequency, then what is F2? F2 is there is no F2 that is why you can consider 0 as F2 if they are not available. Hope you understand. Right. So, F0 is there, F1 is there, F2 is there and L. L is the lower boundary, lower boundary of model class. See here why am I using the word lower boundary? Because these are the class intervals 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40, 60 and so on. Suppose if my class intervals are 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, these kind of class intervals, these are called inclusive class intervals, otherwise discrete class intervals. So, in this particular case, for example, this is what my model class. If it is my model class, then this 21 cannot be considered as L1 
This 21 is particularly here called lower limit, but L1 should be called as lower boundary of model class. So, what do you mean by lower boundary? Then you will have to convert these inclusive classes into exclusive classes. For that, take the averages of lower limit of that particular class and upper limit of the above class divided by 2. That is what called average in fact. So, 21 plus 20 divided by 2 is equal to 21 plus 20 divided by 2 is 20.5. So, we do not think all these things. In order to convert inclusive classes into exclusive classes, we do only one thing that we subtract 0.5 from the lower limit and simultaneously add 0.5 to the upper limit. Why are we doing that? Because we are finding the averages. So, that is what is the reason behind that. So, that is why instead of calling L1 as lower limit, better call L1 as lower boundary. Then it makes sense. Okay, fine. So, let us try to understand this. Um, after finding the values of F1 and F2, what are we supposed to do here? So, we are going to find the values of F0, F1, F2 and lower boundary of the model class that is L1 is equal to 60 is the lower boundary of the model class. And what is the class size? Yes, the class size h is equal to 20 minus 0 is equal to 20. So, class size is equal to 20. Correct? And I think everything is there to substitute. Therefore, mod z is equal to L1. L1 is equal to 60 plus F1. F1 is equal to 29 minus F0. F0 is equal to 21 divided by 2F1 means 2 into 29 minus F0 that is 21 minus F2 that is 17 multiplied by H is equal to 20. Now, you need to simplify this which is equal to 60 plus 29 minus 21 is equal to 8. Of course, into 20 is there whole divided by 29 twos are 58 minus 21 minus 17 is equal to minus 38. Okay? See here, 58 minus 38 is equal to 20. That 20 and this 20 gets cancelled. 60 plus 8 is equal to 68 is mode of the frequency distribution. So, this way we can easily find out what is the mode of the given frequency distribution. Right? Let us move on to the next problem. Here the next problem again is if the median of the distribution given below is 28.5, find the values of x and y. And uh, if I see is there any direct problem in order to find uh, median, uh, convert this less than type. Okay? Let us have this problem. See in this problem, median of the frequency distribution given below is 28.5. This is one of the most important problem with missing frequencies related to median. See, in order to find median of the frequency distribution, what is the formula for median? Median of frequency distribution is equal to L plus N by 2 minus Cf divided by F into H. This is what is the formula for median of frequency distribution. See, in order to find median of this frequency distribution, first I will write um, the class intervals as well as frequencies as two columns. First column class intervals, the class intervals are 0 to 10 and then 10 to 20 and then 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60 and then I have total and corresponding frequencies are what are frequencies 5, 8, x, 15, y and then 5. The total is going to be 60. Total is nothing but what? Sigma fi. Sigma fi is equal to 60. See, in order to find median of the frequency distribution, you need to prepare one more column. That one more column contains cumulative frequencies. What do you call them? Cumulative frequencies. What do you mean by cumulative frequencies? Cumulative frequencies are nothing but sum of all the frequencies preceding to it is said to be cumulative frequency. See here 5, there is no 
frequency preceding to it to add that is why for the first class interval cumulative frequency should be 5 only for the next class interval what is the cumulative frequency sum of the preceding frequencies that is 5 plus 8 so what is 5 plus 8 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 okay for the next class interval you will have to add all these things 5 plus 8 plus x so in a, instead of doing all these things you just add these two of course that's enough right so this is 13 plus x or x plus 13 again till here it means add these two x plus 13 plus 15 is going to be x plus 28 and again y is also there so that x plus y plus 28 and the next one is there you will have to add 5 so when you add 5 28 plus 5 is equal to 33 so that it would be x plus y plus 33 this is what is the cumulative frequency of the last class interval let us once check whether it is right or wrong 5 plus 8 is equal to 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 13 plus 20 is equal to 33 33 so what does this mean the last frequency cumulative frequency should be the sum of all the preceding frequencies so that is why i just added it means when i add all these frequencies i would get x plus y plus 33 but it was given as 60 so that i would write it as x plus y plus 33 is equal to 60 so then the value of x plus y is equal to what is 60 minus 33 i think it is 27 right so x plus y is equal to 27 is one relationship between x and y as per the given problem see after finding the values of cumulative frequencies i think the preparation of the table is almost done what am i supposed to do now see after finding the values of cumulative frequencies the very first thing that i need to find out here is finding out the value of n divided by 2 what is the value of n divided by 2 n equal to 60 so that 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30 so now you will have to search for this 30 in which cumulative frequencies our value of n by 2 entered first see 5 there is no 30 13 there is no 30 x plus 13 is also there is no 30 because the next value is x plus 28 see here i would say that 30 may be here or may be here or may be here i do not know that but in the given problem the median of the distribution is given as 28.5 since the median is given as 28.5 that 28.5 you can easily identify in which class interval the 28.5 is located right see 28.5 is located between 20 to 30 right so that 20 to 30 class interval is considered as median class so the class interval 20 to 30 is called median class i would write here so what is the median class median class is equal to 20 to 30 is the median class why do you call it as a median class because our given median located over here sometimes in direct problems when median of the distribution is not given and missing frequency is also not given and you will be asked directly find out median of the frequency distribution in order to find median of the frequency distribution definitely you will have to identify where the median class is located in order to find the median class that is what the thing that we just discussed find out the value of n by 2 and in which class interval sorry in which cumulative frequency our n by 2 value entered first can be considered as the median class so that is the way of finding median class way of identifying median class when the distribution given directly hope you understand please do remember that okay fine after identifying the median class what is small f small f is the frequency of median class what is frequency of the median class that is x so x is the frequency of the median class and what is the cf cf is cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class so what is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class this is cumulative frequency of the median class 
but this is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class so that this 13 can be considered as cf hope you understand so that is cf and h you know about very well and then f i think we identified everything therefore when you substitute in the formula median is equal to what is median given he is given 28.5 so 28.5 is equal to n by 2 n by 2 is already there 30 minus cumulative frequency cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class that is 13 divided by small f small f is equal to 1 small f is equal to x into what is the next one h h is going to be 10 minus 0 is equal to 10 hope you understand right see here this is 28.5 is equal to 30 minus 13 divided by x into 10 see here we need to understand one thing clearly here that 28.5 is equal to 30 minus 13 so 28.5 by cross multiplication it would be into x is equal to 30 minus 13 into 10 what is 30 minus 13 is equal to 17 17, 17 into 10 is equal to 170 right then the value of x is going to be 170 divided by 28.5 so if i would say it is 1700 divided by 285 so 1700 divided by 285 what is the value of 1700 divided by 285 i would use my calculator in order to find that so 1700 divided by 285 is going to be 5.96 how is this 5.96 so where is this wrong where is this gone wrong i am just uh, going to check okay let us have a look on this this is 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 40 40 50 50 60 fine and then the frequencies are 5 8 x 15 y 5 okay and when you find the total 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 13 plus 20 is equal to what is 13 plus 20 is equal to 33 33 fine absolutely fine that is and uh, okay so median class 28.5 is located over here so that this is the median class and this is the frequency of the median class and this is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class fine absolutely fine so this is f l1 is equal to lower boundary of the median class that is 20 so where is that l l is equal to okay i just missed out that uh, median class there fine 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 and now see here when i substitute the values are going to be here median is equal to what is the median 28.5 is equal to l plus l is equal to 20 plus n by 2 of course that is 30 minus c of cumulative frequency is equal to 13 divided by small f small f is equal to x multiplied by h h is equal to 10 minus 0 is equal to 10 fine first transpose this 20 this side 28.5 minus 20 is equal to 8.5 which is equal to 30 minus 13 is equal to 17 into 10 is equal to 170 divided by x fine then the value of x is going to be x is equal to 170 divided by 8.5 so 170 by 8.5 means x equal to 1700 by 85 so i think 85 once 85 85 twos are 170 so it means x is equal to 20 when x is equal to 20 then what would be the value of y of course you can get the value of y from this first equation so first equation implies x plus y is equal to 27 but x equal to 20 20 plus how much equal to 27 so therefore y is equal to 7 and x is equal to 20 so this way we can answer this problem easily finding median of the frequency distribution and moving on to the next problem here the next problem again is the distribution given below shows the marks of 100 students of a class 0 to 5 there are 4 students and 5 to 10 there are 6 students like that 35 to 40 there are 5 students what are you asked to hear find here dry less than type and more than type will give for the given data 
hence obtain the median marks for the given frequency distribution. See here, what do you mean by less than OZU as well as greater than OZU? In order to find less than OZU and in order to find this is less than OZU and in order to find greater than OZU. See here, less than OZU curve as well as greater than OZU in order to draw them, what should be considered and what should be found out, right? See here, less than type OZUs. In order to find less than type OZU, what should be taken or what should be found? You will have to find exact upper boundaries of the class intervals. Exact upper boundaries of the class intervals and less than cumulative frequencies. Exact upper boundaries or you can call it exact upper limits and less than cumulative frequencies. I am going to show you them. So, in order to find less than type OZU, we need here. So, what is the first thing that we are going to find here? First, what are the class intervals given and what are the corresponding frequencies? Class intervals are 0 to 5 and then 5 to 10 and then 10 to 15 and then 15 to 20 and then 20 to 25 and then 25 to 30 and then 30 to 35 finally 35 to 40 okay and corresponding frequencies are given here as 4 6 10 again 10 25 22 18 and then 5 correct see this is what the information given I am going to draw what is less than type OZU. In order to find less than type OZU, I need exact upper boundaries. Exact upper boundaries means upper boundaries otherwise upper limits of class intervals. So, what are upper limits of class intervals? For 0 to 5 class interval, upper limit is 5. For 5 to 10, 10. Similarly, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and then 40. So, these are upper limits of class intervals and less than cumulative frequencies. What do you mean by less than cumulative frequencies? We already found cumulative frequencies in order to find median of the distribution. They are called less than cumulative frequencies. So, in order to find less than cumulative frequencies, you keep adding the frequencies right from the top. So, first frequency is 4 only and the next one is 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 and the next one is 10 plus 10 equal to 20 and then 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 and then 30 plus 25 is equal to 55 and then 55 plus 22 is equal to 77, 77 plus 18 is equal to like 95 and 95 plus 5 is equal to 100. So, it means sum of all the frequencies is equal to 100. These two columns are required in order to find less than cumulative frequency OZU. And in order to find greater than cumulative frequency OZU, greater than cumulative frequency OZU, you need to find exact lower limits, exact lower limits, lower limits of class intervals should be taken as well as greater than cumulative frequencies. So, what are lower limits here? Lower limits of class intervals. So, here 0 to 5 lower limit is nothing but 0 and 5 to 10 lower limit is 5 and then for the next class 10 and then 15 and then 20 and then 25 and then 30 and then 35. So, these are lower limits of the class intervals and then I need greater than cumulative frequencies. What do you mean by greater than cumulative frequencies? You will have to add cumulative frequencies right from the bottom. That is what called greater than cumulative frequencies. See here the frequency is 5 so that you should write 5 here. Fine. And what is the next one? 18 plus 5. What is 18 plus 5 is equal to 23. So, you should write 23 here. And 23 plus 22 is equal to 45. So, you should write 45. And then 45 plus 25 is equal to of course 70. And then 70 plus 10 is equal to 80. 80 plus 10 equal to 90. 
90 plus 6 equal to 96 plus 4 is equal to 100. So, anyway uh, when you add them you will get the same value of capital N and after finding the values of upper limits as well as less than cumulative frequencies, lower limits and greater than cumulative frequencies. Now, you are going to draw graphs, you are going to draw graphs, draw the curves on the graph sheet. So, they are like you see, they are like the values uh, upper limits of class intervals and uh, greater than cumulative frequencies or less than cumulative frequencies should be taken on x axis as well as y axis. I am going to draw them here. So, I would draw x axis as well as y axis. Okay? This is y axis and this is x axis. In order to find less than cumulative frequency OZU, I will have to consider these two. So, first thing exact lower limits otherwise upper limits of class intervals should be taken on x axis upper limits of class intervals and the corresponding less than cumulative frequency should be taken on y axis less than cumulative frequencies and uh, you will have to draw the curve as per the values corresponding values then this less than cumulative frequency curve less than cumulative frequency OZU or less than type curve would be like this. And similarly, when you take on the same graph, lower limits of the class intervals over here and upper uh, what is that greater than cumulative frequencies should be taken on y axis and the curve would be this. Okay? And where both of them meet, where both the curves meet. So, that point is said to be the point of intersection of both the curves and if you drop a perpendicular from the point of intersection. So, this is what is the value of x on the x axis. This particular value is said to be median of the frequency distribution. You understand? So, this way we can find median of the frequency distribution for the given data by finding less than as well as greater than type OZUs on the same graph sheet. Hope you understand and this is uh, one of the most important and of course, the weightage of this topic is also more. You just try to remember only these three formulas, how to find arithmetic mean, arithmetic mean and median as well as mode and finally, how to draw this OZUs. So, then easily you can score good marks in our 10th class board examinations compulsorily. And hope you understand and enjoy the class. Thank you.